So for many problems that cause vertigo and balance problems, if they're problems of the vestibular system, exercises and prescribed activities that are like exercises can be used to help the person overcome vertigo and improve their balance without medication. In fact, medication often interferes, and many physicians who are specialists in this field only prescribe medication when someone has an acute attack of vertigo, but they take them off it after the first few days to allow the brain to compensate naturally and to take advantage of the brain's ability to compensate with its natural plasticity, um, helped along by exercises in which we try and stimulate the person to have a little tiny bit of vertigo, a little bit at a time under controlled circumstances so they know when it's going to happen. It doesn't make them upset because they know it's going to happen. It's momentary and then they go away and then they come back and repeat it later on, several times a day for a few weeks. And that's often very effective in treating vertigo. Uh, sometimes I give advice about adaptations to the home to make it safer. Sometimes I teach people ways to uh, sit up, stand up, lie down more easily or more safely. Or I talk about how people can modify activities of daily living um, or special activities in their lives. Sometimes we talk about diet modification depending on the nature of the diagnosis. I think Therapy should be personalized and individualized, which means they're unique to each person's unique individual needs. Um, therefore, when you might find something on the internet that says you should do exercise A, B, or C, or you should do it a particular way, in fact, that's never correct because it doesn't meet the individual needs of that person, of that person's level of strength or mobility or flexibility, their ability to comprehend instructions. Um, their ability to tolerate different levels of exercise or their interests or even personal goals.